Okay, well today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the coin slider on your coin operated machine. And so we have this particular GE model. And what has happened is the, there's a lot of slop in this. So uh, I had to tighten down these two sort of anchoring bolts. And you can see there's a hole in the middle there where this shaft goes in back behind. And so in order to put that shaft in, what I normally do is I run it in through the, the back here, up in there. And set it up in there so I can see it up here in front. So it comes out that little hole. Really tricky to do with one hand, but basically that's what I'm doing. And so, kind of fish it through there until you start coming out the other end. You don't want to come out all the way, you just want to sort of set it up in there. So it's sort of sitting right there and not all the way in, just enough to have it in place so that when you push the slider forward, um, you can grab a hold of it uh, with that uh, bolt. So you push it forward. And it lifts up slightly and then pushes down and then you'll see the bolt in the front there and you just want to screw it in from there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand and a dollar tripod but you get the idea and so if you need any appliances repaired I do repairs on all brands of appliances and so get a hold of me at 707-443-8347 serving Northern California and you can also send me an email at applianceworks.webs or excuse me applianceworks at yahoo.com and I also have a website it's appliance-works.webs.com thanks